Okay, let's just go into the economics of ethanol here. Now, I've seen on one website that I might have actually been using too much sugar, and that 4.5 kilograms would be enough. Multiply that by the cheapest price of retail sugar I've seen so far, which is 0.86 or 86 pence, that's £3.87. Add to that the cost of the yeast, which is 0 0.97, depending upon where you go, that's the cheapest I've seen. So that's the cost of the sugar and the yeast taken into account. Let's say I'm using the ultraviolet sanitation wand as the means of sterilization. You can buy eight batteries for a cost of a pound. So therefore, four batteries will do one sterilization of the bucket twice. So essentially, we're talking about 25 pence. So we add to that the 0 0.25. Okay, so that's basically the total cost is five pounds and nine pence. Okay, that's in pounds sterling, not US dollars, of course. Okay, and we tend to get out about 3.5 liters. Okay. So five pound and nine pence divided by 3.5. This is not including the cost of the electricity to run the still. We're talking about one pound 45 per liter or one pound 46 per liter, which is pretty close to the retail cost of diesel these days. So on the basis that the sugar costs uh, can be cut down and I can use the ultraviolet uh, sanitation wand as the distillation technology, uh, as well as, of course, a splash of homemade bioethanol for the base of the bucket. I should be able to cut down the cost of ethanol production to a dramatically low amount, which would actually make it much more feasible for the uses that I put it to for both cooking and also domestic heating.